So this is going to be a quick overview of a few apps that I have on my Mac. Uh, I'm going to try and avoid the typical Photoshop, Vinyl Cut Pro, iMovie. I'm just going to give you five apps that you might not have heard of before. So let's get into it. So first on the list is an app called Mac ID. And basically what that allows you to do is to unlock your Mac using Touch ID on your iPhone. Um, it's so easy to use that I literally use it every time I log into my Mac. Um, it's got a proximity wake function, so whenever I walk into my room, it flashes up on my phone saying, do you want to unlock your Mac? And obviously if I do, I just put my finger on the Touch ID and instantly it opens up. There's also an Apple Watch app available for Mac ID. And all you do is open the app and click lock. And then you can obviously tap again to unlock it just like that. It's really easy to use and obviously with the proximity wake, when you walk into your room, you get a notification on your watch to unlock it. I found Mac ID to be a really useful app. It's so easy just to raise your phone and unlock it with Touch ID or to unlock it with your Apple Watch without having to type your long password. It's a free download for the Mac and the iOS app is £2.99. There's links in the description below for you to check it out and try it. And that was Mac ID. So the second app is called Bartender. And basically as you accumulate more icons in the top right of your screen, Bartender lets you manage those and choose which ones are visible. So basically what you end up with is a streamlined version of your menu bar. Um, so as you can see here, it basically you can have as much or little as you want. You can go full complicated or full minimalist. Um, it's really up to you. Um, they still function as they would normally function. Um, it's just the difference is you can hide the ones that you don't want to view all the time. Um, to get at them, you just click your little bartender icon. And then from here, you can choose the one that you want. So as you can see from mine in the top right hand corner, I've got only a few icons. Obviously, you've got one there for recording this. Um, you've got the time and date. This one is to change the resolution of my screen. I've got Fantastical 2 and my Wi-Fi icon. The rest of them are just hidden in the bartender menu. Um, you can actually hide some completely, which I've done. And I've also got other ones that I frequently use just here. I believe that the price for Bartender at the minute is $15, which is about £11.95. And basically you can have a four week trial of it, so you can try it for a month and see what you think. And obviously at the end of it, if you choose to buy it, it's a lifetime license. So yeah, if you're into your minimalism, Bartender will be ideal for you. Um, I'll link the website in the description below as always, and you can download it from there. So the third app that I'd like to recommend is called Better Touch Tool. Um, this offers an unreal amount of customization for shortcuts, um, both for your trackpad, your keyboard, and mouse. Um, it's great for apps like Final Cut Pro and iMovie, where there's lots of complicated keyboard shortcuts. Basically, you can make them a lot simpler by using your trackpad. You can do either globally recognized gestures, which are available in any app that you use, or you can also have app specific ones. Um, so basically, if you've got Final Cut Pro, you can do something for while you're in there. And as soon as you go to Google Chrome or a different app, that shortcut won't work because it's specific for Final Cut Pro. It's really easy to customize your different gestures. Um, all you do is open up the Better Touch Tool app. Um, and as you can see here, you've got all of your different shortcuts. Um, you can just add a quick new one, like a new keyboard shortcut. Or on your trackpad, you can actually choose which one you'd like to do. So if I just go to the Live View section here, and basically that brings up where you're clicking on your trackpad. Um, you can also do things like tip taps which is basically one finger then the next then the next and obviously that creates a gesture from there so you can also do corner taps as well so if i click in the top right for example that brings up the volume and if i click in the bottom right that takes down the volume so one of the best things about better touch tool is the fact that it is free um, I'll link in the description down below a link for you to check it out and by all means download it and assign your own gestures. 
So the fourth app that I'd like to recommend is an app called Daisy Disk. And basically what it lets you do is view all of your files on a Mac as a sort of pie chart. Um, so everything's separated, you can see what takes up a lot of space, what takes up a little bit of space. And obviously if something's taken up a lot of space and you don't need it anymore, obviously you know where it is to delete it. So it does take a couple of minutes to scan your hard drive. So it's particularly handy if you do have a small SSD in your Mac. Um, for example, if you've got a small MacBook Air for only 128 gig, you'd be able to easily pinpoint what it is that you'd like to remove. Um, with the paid version, you can also drag and drop folders straight into the bottom, um, and that'll ready them for deletion. You just literally click one button after that, which will delete it from there. So yeah, I'd highly recommend Daisy Disk if you do have a small SSD in your Mac. It's really handy to find things to delete and free up a bit of space. Um, you do have a free trial with it, or you can also buy it from the Mac App Store for £7.99. And that was Daisy Disk. And the fifth and final app that I'd like to recommend is called Alfred. And what that is, it's basically like Spotlight, but with a lot more features. Um, you can search for files, for applications, you can search the web, um, you've got a calculator in there, um, all sorts of different things. Um, I've had the paid version for a while. There is also a free version out there. So I'll just open it up now. Um, you basically click the little settings icon in the top to get to your preferences. Um, but like I say, you've got a file search, a web search, calculator. Um, you've also got other things like your clipboard manager. Um, you can choose to keep it for 24 hours or anywhere up to three months. Um, I use the system ones a lot. Um, so you've got the likes of shutdown, restart, lock your machine. Um, you've also got the quit ones so you can quit an application or even quit all applications at once and um, you've also got the eject and um, so again you can eject individual drives that you've got plugged into your machine or you can also do an eject all so I think this feature is just for the paid one uh, but you can also add workflows there's a number of different ones on the Alfred forum online um, I've got the reminders one and um, so basically I type in R, I'll just show you there. R, this is a test. Um, and that'll basically add a reminder to your reminders list and obviously sync across all of your devices. Another thing you can do on the paid version is customize the look of it. So you can have it match your desktop or your setup, anything like that. There's a bunch of preset ones, such as the ones that I'm showing you here. And you can also download more from the community forum. And like I say, there is a free version out there for you to try it out. Um, but it's well worth getting the paid version, which will set you back about £17. And that is my top five apps for the Mac. I do hope this video helped and hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions, just post them in the comment section below. And subscribe for more videos like this. Cheers!